Corey, let's get right into it. And as we've seen in recent days, Eric Adams is at the top of our very latest poll here. He's coming in once we uh, once we queue over the graphic at 23 percent. Maya Wiley, the former council of Mayor de Blasio at 18 percent. Catherine Garcia at 17 percent. Andrew Yang at 14 percent. Voters really coalescing for the most part around this top three, but at least this top four. And that becomes even more obvious when you take a look at our our next four. The only one really getting any sort of uh, support in the in the next four is Scott Stringer hanging in there at 9 percent, but he's still down a few percentage points. Everyone else not really checking in anywhere, uh, you know, above the 5% mark. But as we've been talking about, this is a ranked choice voting election where if no one has 50%, the bottom candidate is eliminated and based on preference of the voters, their second, third, fourth, or fifth choices are redistributed. So under that model, let's take a look at our final four candidates if we were to use our polling to run a ranked choice voting simulation. So this is if uh, only these four are left, you know, using our polling numbers Adams at 32 Wiley 26 Garcia 24 Andrew Yang at 18 so in this example Andrew Yang would be eliminated and his voters their second choices would be redistributed across the rest of the field and once we go ahead and do that once we eliminate Andrew Yang and give his 18 percent across the board you see who it really favors Eric Adams picks up a lot of support but Catherine Garcia sneaks ahead of Maya Wiley 30 percent versus her 29 no one's at 50, so we go on. You eliminate Maya Wiley in this case because she's just barely lower than Catherine Garcia. And look at this. It's a neck and neck race between Eric Adams and Catherine Garcia to be the next mayor. Maya Wiley right there. If she'd been one percentage point up, we would see a very different final two here. We also drilled down to in our poll the big controversy of last week, the residency questions that have been raised about Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams. We queried uh, people about that. If you know he really lived in Brooklyn, what about the property in New Jersey? Frankly, it had no impact for 51 percent of voters. 32 percent did say they were less likely to vote for Adams. But just think about our poll here. It's not like Adams exactly has universal support. 17 percent even said they were more likely to vote for Eric Adams. And we were on the campaign trail today with several Several of the leading candidates, the top three in our poll, in fact, and take a listen to their closing sales pitch to voters. I don't see anyone as my threat. I'm running my race. I'm focused. That's People right. are moving up That's and right. down, That's sideways. Right. I am running for mayor, not because I want the title of mayor, but because I want to do the job. And that is about keeping everyone safe. I'm focused on June 22nd. I'm focused on being the progressive who is going to win this race yeah. because we've got people power. Finally, on the issues, this is what's in uh, voters' minds as they're heading to the polls during early voting and ahead of next Tuesday. Crime, as we've seen for a while, at 31% housing and 15%. But the mayor, a lot of challenges, as we know. Police reform, 10%. Jobs and COVID, 9% each. So a big job, but crime, the top issue for voters right now, Tamsin and Corey. And that is our final poll until they start counting for real.